Okay, so what I have here are a couple of new items I'm going to use to organize and store my recently acquired coin collection. So this is a case that I saw on Amazon from uh, D. Dackett. It's actually the same manufacturer that I got a comic book case from, you know, a few months back. But this is specific to graded coins, and it might hold exactly what I have. It said 87 or more coins and slabs, and I think I have 95 total. So we'll see, but they have it where you can go in, you know, on the side, or you could stack some here, I guess. Is that not customizable? It is what it is, but. Um, so there's the case for the coins. And then I got these, I think these are BCW. Yeah, BCW. And this is four pocket currency uh, pages. You know, just like any other collectible card page or whatever. And I'm going to load up the the notes, or nothing of the uh, the currency, uh, into these. And I've got a binder for them. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stop here for a bit. I'll be right back, and we'll see what everything looks like. All right, so I am back, and I put everything uh, away, so to speak. So, first up, here's a uh, binder that I had kicking around. And here are what the what the money looks like. Uh, and these actually are pretty cool. These are from BCW. And there's actually a little pocket over here I'll take advantage of at some point where you could actually stick a note, like a note describing what that is and things of that nature. So that will help me a lot. Um, I wasn't able to get them all in here. I still have, over here I've got, uh, these are all, I guess, what are these? The star notes or something? No, what are these? Oh, this is the bar notes. Um, and he had a, a run of them in sequence, and there was like a gap, and then another mini run, and he had some oddball outliers, but um, you can see the money in here. Let's pick this up. So the goal is to, once I, you know, I am doing some research, I am looking online, looking on eBay, and to gather some info, and then I'm going to go take it somewhere and just tell the appraiser, I need a, I need a number for insurance purposes. Uh, that's just BS. I just want to know um, what they're worth or what kind of value I should assign to them. And um, anyway, so I'll flip through these real quick. I'm not sure if some of these are just regular $2 bills and they're, he had them because they're just $2 bills or if there's some significance to them. Um, and these are, I think, silver certificates or something like that here. And I went through these already in my first video, I believe. Yeah, so I did put the star notes in here, and then I started the bar run, I think. Yeah, here's the Joseph bar notes, and there is a gap. He does have a gap. Some of these are really nice shape. I almost wonder if um, if it's worth even grading, especially this last bundle here. I got these are all really nice condition. So, so there's the currency, and then here's this really cool case that I had more than enough room to um, let me sort this out real quick. All right, so here's the case, and uh, I was a little worried I wouldn't have enough room, but I have plenty of room. In fact, I have room for even more coins. Now, I think there's an order to some of these, and then I think um, here's this one. I had I noticed I had one of those oddball grading companies in here um, as I was sorting through. I think it's is it this one. No, it was um, all oh, these two right here, A N A C S. SP69. Um, so these are kind of, these are set up a little bit differently than these other holders. Most of these, I guess, are what, NGCs. Um, but anyhow, so you could fit, like on these little side pockets, you could fit, um, I think, three. Let me put one in here. Um, I got what, one here, and then I think I got, I got two here, but you could actually get one more. It's pretty snug. Um, and then you've got these these three rows. So I, I think it's laid out really well. Um, I do have room for, for more. I do have to go through and, yeah, I mean, he had like a run from like 2006 to like something and then and then they kind of change. I think this is that five. This, um, this is from that box set. Um, there are some oddballs I, 
2006. Um, I'm also maybe going to look into some of those uh, perfect fit sleeves or superior fit or whoever makes a little slab sleeve for these guys. I mean, I have them for the PSA graded cards, and I even have them for for comic books, uh, CGC cards. So they must make them for coins, I would imagine. Um, look at some of these here. Yeah, I think I just saw. So, so this, these are somewhat in disarray. I want to figure out the best way to put these in order. Um, yeah, so uh, again, this case is from a company called uh, D Dacket, and I'll post the link down below. It ran about $60, I think, for the case. And then these, these were like cheap. This is like, I don't know, 15 bucks for 20 of these sheets or something like that. Um, and this is a binder from Unikeep. And I like these binders because, you know, <clears throat> they, they seal <clears throat> out all, you know, no dust can get in there and whatnot. Um, but this is the largest one they make in a one and a half inch variety. So anyway, uh, that'll do a little uh, update and uh, more to come as time goes on. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.